The law of conservation of mass states that mass can never be created or destroyed. So that means in a chemical reaction, the mass of the reactants must be equal to the mass of the products. Now, so here's two terms that we have recognized, reactants and products. So when we express a chemical reaction, we have the reactants on the left hand side, and then the arrow, meaning the chemical reaction, and then the products on the right hand side. So the mass of the reactants must be equal to the mass of the products. I'm going to do an example for you of a reaction of burning or the combustion of magnesium in oxygen. So a word equation first. So magnesium is magnesium metal, oxygen gas are the reactants, and it's a combustion reaction. It's burning of magnesium in oxygen. And the product is magnesium oxide. Right, now, so that's the chemical, uh, that's the word equation, and now I'm going to write the equation in symbols. So magnesium metal is just Mg. Now, oxygen. Oxygen is what we call diatomic. That means that it always exists in two atoms together. So, O2. And the um, magnesium oxide has the formula MgO. Now, let's have a look and see if this is balanced because the law of conservation of mass says the mass cannot be created or destroyed. The mass of the reactants is equal to the mass of the products. We've got one magnesium here and one magnesium here. That's fine. But we've got two oxygen here and only one oxygen here. So at the moment, the way this is expressed, it doesn't actually comply with the law of conservation of mass. So what we need to do is we need to balance the equation. So I want to try and demonstrate this to you using some models now. So this is our magnesium and this is our oxygen. Okay, so it's diatomic, two atoms together. And then here's magnesium oxide, so one oxygen and one magnesium. Can you see here we've got two oxygens on this side and only one oxygen on this side. So the only way we can possibly balance this is by having an extra molecule of magnesium oxide. See, we cannot change, we can't add an oxygen here. That is because that would not be magnesium oxide anymore. That's impossible to do. So the only thing we can do is add another molecule of magnesium oxide. And the way we express that in our equation is, is that we add a coefficient. This is called a coefficient here. And in this case, it's a coefficient 2. What does that mean? Two magnesium oxide molecules. So that means we've got two magnesiums and two oxygens. Two magnesium oxide. So let's go back and see how this looks on the other side. We've got two oxygen and two oxygen. So that's balanced. But now we've got two magnesium. And only one magnesium here. Well, the only thing we can do here, and all we need to do, is add another uh, atom of magnesium. And now we've got two magnesium and two magnesium on this side. So what we've done is we've added a coefficient here of a two. So that's all we're doing when we're balancing equations is uh, working out where we need to put the coefficients to ensure we have the same number of atoms of each element on both sides of the um, chemical reaction. Alright, so this is the balancing act practice. Let's go ahead and balance these. Okay, so we've got, always start with our metals first, and they look fine. So now our non-metals, we've got two fluorine on this side, and one on this side. 
So we're going to have to go ahead and put a 2 here. So now we've got 2 fluorine and 2 fluorine. So now we've got 2 sodium. So we need to put a coefficient of 2 over here for 2 sodium and 2 sodium. Okay, next one. 1 magnesium, 1 magnesium. Now we've got 1 chlorine, 2 chlorine, 1 hydrogen, 2 hydrogen. So all we need to do here is put a 2. Now we've got 2 hydrogen, 2 hydrogen, 2 chlorine, 2 chlorine. That's an easy one. Next one. Um, okay, so we've got 2 chlorine here and 1 chlorine here. So if I go and put a 2 here, now let's have a look. Now we've got 2 chlorine, 2 chlorine, 2 potassium and 1 potassium. Well, let's put a 2 here for 2 potassium. And now we've got 2 potassium, 2 potassium, 2 iodine, 2 iodine. Perfect. Okay, next one. Sodium chloride and 1 sodium, 2 chlorine. So the only option is a 2 here. So now we've got 2 chlorines, 2 chlorines, and then a 2 here for 2 sodium.